start. Okay, morning everyone. So we'll start our next practical that is study of compound beam. Okay. Now we'll have we have added one another beam to a simple beam. So we have already gone through the setup for a simple beam. So we have added one beam that is a beam CD. Now if you have seen, we have placed this beam CD as an inverted beam. Means the zero reading start from this end D end, and hundred uh, centimeter reading is at the C end. So basically beam A to B, then C to D. We have given a digital meters to point A, point B, and point C. Point D. We don't have any digital meter. Okay. Now we will get a readings in A point, B point, and C point. That is nothing but the reactions. So what you have to do? You have to attach these weights W1, W2, W3, and W4. W1 and W2 you have to attach at being A and B. So we'll attach first. You have to initially find out that initial readings for all the digital meter it should be zero. So how you can do it? You can just switch in and switch off. So you'll get all the readings at a zero point. Okay. So you have to set all the readings as a zero in a digital meter. Then you have to add the weights and you have to check the readings in a digital meter. So we'll add W1, W1. You have already known that this weight is of half kg and a hanger with the base it is of half kg. So we have added a one kg for a W1. So W1 is one kg at a distance of 15 centimeter. Next, we'll add W2. That is one, two, three. So that is one point five kg at W2 at a distance of eighty centimeter. That is for beam AB. Now we'll add the weights. If you have seen A and B have a different readings and C it is zero. Okay. Now we'll add another one, two, three, one point five kg for beam CD. Now as the beam CD is inverted beam, so we have added. Uh, at a distance of 70, 70 from point T, 70 centimeter from point D, and the last part is W4. So W4, it is again half kg at this part, so it is one kg at this part. W4, it adds at a length of 15 centimeter. So L1, L2, L3, and L4, you have the readings. W1, W2, W3, W4, you have the readings and the reaction at point A, reaction at point B and the reaction at point C, these are the experimental readings in digital meters. Okay, so you have all the readings, these are the experiment compound beam and what you have to find, you have to find the analytical reading of reaction at A, reaction at B and reaction at C. These three readings you have to find out for analytical value. And you have to compare it with experimental value and find out the percentage error. It should be less than 5%. Okay. There is no graphical method for a compound beam. Only we will solve it with the analytical method. You have the observation table, everything, the readings, uh, observation table, then the, uh, what will be the write-up. You have already in a soft copy. Just go through it. That is what the simple video for a compound beam. We will complete this procedure as it is. And this procedure you have to repeat for all five readings. Every time you have to change W1, W2, W3, W4 and L1, L2, L3, L4. Okay. For all five readings you have to change. You have to measure the readings in RI, RB and RC and complete the process. Okay. All the percentage error for all the five readings it should be less than 5%. So we will complete this practically. Thank you.